Hey guys, welcome back to part three of We Who Are About to Die. This is Capo Regime. Um, in the last video, we we had a lot of close calls, man. Uh, we almost died a couple times, but you know, I think if we continue to make uh, smart decisions most of the time, we're gonna be able to pull this out. And I think in this clip, we're gonna we're gonna see some real progress. So thank you guys again for tuning in. And without further ado, let's get back into it. Okay, so our health is full. Ah, oh, crap. So this is our chest plate so this is what i was saying like they extorted us only 9600 gold for like one of our boots or something before but now they're charging us 1500 so this is where you kind of have to make a judgment call is this 1500 worth it because there's a hanian infantry armor here for 6200 but i think we're just uh, we're just gonna do it because we don't want to Oh look, this is fully repaired. It's worth 13,000. This is what I'm talking about, guys. So you have to go for these when you can because that's a huge uptick in money. And since we don't have any two-handed skill <clears throat> and a decent shield and one-handed sword, we're just going to go out and sell it for that full amount. And look at that. We can start going into the big league kind of weapons now. Look at this cage helm. We can suddenly afford... The only We can only not afford one item on this page which is this lion head helm which is pretty insane kind of want that so if we don't buy anything this time which we might not because there's a chest plate here let's just compare real quick so the chest plate does offer more armor than the infantry armor the same fame multiplier and less stamina regeneration negation so i think we're going to keep our current armor no need to heal but now we can think about some scholar upgrades so we're probably going to go for this entourage so it looks like we can easily afford it and it's by far the most expensive thing in the scholar upgrade knowing the earlier that you can get this i think the better off you are just because you know if you're in a tight spot uh, you're running out of health or you know you're going in without a weapon god forbid right this can save your life so i think we're just going to go ahead and get that and still have a good amount of money to spare for training so let's check in on our stats again one-handed sword at 86 stamina is getting up there we're going to keep doing stamina as the primary and so it doesn't look like we have any entourages to take advantage of for this one that might be entourage but it's shrouded it's a one-on-one -on -one. spoils to the victor but you know i might do this one i might do this one it's a spoils to the victor i know it's a one-on-one -on -one. you know we're just gonna keep everything just because we're in a pretty good spot how much is our shield worth our shield's only worth two thousand anyway so I think we're okay just going in, just in case that that battle trait we can't see isn't what we want. Ideally, it's Entourage. No, it's Insurance. Okay. It's fine. We might end up not doing anything here. Sorry, I was drinking some coffee. And what I mean by that is not taking any upgrades. There's not one, just going in winning the match hopefully and getting out so this is a similar opponent to our last one but he has a slightly better weapon i think so we have to be cautious and use distance and not get hit honestly because honestly that's the biggest thing conserving stamina not getting hit and making sure that we're we're actually hitting with with our weapon and not taking too much damage of our sh on our shield only use it when we need to so it looks like an early helmet lop off again and we can just go in and hopefully come out with an easy dub but we're running low on stamina we haven't been watching our stamina we're a little too overzealous with our attack so we need to slow down and we get hit for 20 damage it's okay he's almost dead just need to keep our stamina up so oh see quick follow-up attack coming from him but he is dead the crowd loves it i think we just might take our time to see what's on the field 
because there still might be some profit to be made here. Um, just looking around, I can already tell that that's probably not the case, but let's, let's take a look at this. It's a polearm fair daca. No, it's already not worth it. But what might be worth it, but, excuse me, is this iron Taladaska 1600. And this large fancy jug is worth 5,000. So we're going to do that. I think we're going to hopefully be able to buy another weapon after this match. Otherwise, kind of shot ourselves in the foot just for that monetary gain. But we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. Let's keep going. So despite being a spoils match, we still got that 2,000 on top of that 5,000 we're going to sell that jug for. So that's a that's a healthy uptick in our bank account. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a treat uh, treaties. I don't want a damn spear. So we're going to probably reroll. We're going to sell this fancy jug. And we're going to reroll and hope for a nice weapon. Ooh, bro. Okay, this is really good. This is one of my favorite weapons in this game just because of its speed. And it has a relatively good range and high damage. Only 3,000. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. That'll replace the weapon we dropped. And we still have 8,400 to spare that we can start getting some better armor, potentially. But we might hold off for now. Let's check out our, our skills. So I think we're going to keep... Focusing on stamina and one-handed sword. I think that's good. I'm hoping that there's an entourage match here, just because those are really easy matches. No. This one's pretty good. It's level 14, but it's a four-on-one against a linoleon veteran that we can probably pile on some bets. Hopefully. One with four surviving allies. So I can't let anybody die. And I'll get paid out 1400 on our bet. 50 damage to team. I'm just going to do this and try to kill this guy as fast as possible. Let's go. Alright, hopefully this linoleon veteran isn't too good. I swear my helmet keeps glitching out you guys notice that like this isn't the right <laughs> this isn't the right helmet model for the helmet that i have but whatever look at this guy's shield oh he's going straight for me i can't let anybody die that's the biggest thing just need to keep the focus on me probably more than half the time and then we should be able to do that Ooh, 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 okay. I just took like 30 damage, so I have to be kind of careful and let them do a little bit of the work. But at the same time, not let any of them get kind of singled out. He lost his shield, so he's, he's pretty much done now. Teammates are eviscerating him. He's done. Good job, guys. For helping me win. Let's go. Again. Where's that bet payout? Oh, four surviving allies. I only have three. That was so dumb. So I, I wasted a thousand gold. That was dumb. I was kind of rushing and not thinking that through all the way. Free match reroll. Forget that happened, guys. That did not happen. Okay. Usually I get this random event more often. But basically, I always just choose the middle option. Always seems to work out in my favor. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so we're doing really good on durability on all of our stuff. It looks like well my boots are about to break DBH, so I should probably Focus on upgrading those next if anything Wow Pretty good stuff coming in here. Look at this That's actually the same shield we saw on that other guy 20 fame multiplier. I think I might upgrade to that shield. 
I don't lose any fame multiplier. Stamina regen takes a little bit of a hit, which, you know, we're gonna do it just so we have a better, better shield. And then let's continue to train. So my shield skill is 56. Once my stamina gets a little higher, I might start training at shield. <clears throat> Insurance. Many versus many. Okay, I have a free reroll. There's an entourage here for this pretty good match. And they're also. Ooh, okay, this one. This one <laughs> is where the entourage really, really helps. On many versus one or one versus many as well but one versus one i get a huge advantage on my opponent we're gonna win within three minutes yes i'm not gonna deal 300 damage or get two kills because we only have one opponent so we're just gonna go ahead and roll with that oh it was the luck of the draw that's fine we just need to grab a sword and shield, a decent one. We don't have to worry about our stuff taking any damage. It is win-win. Uh, just pick that up. You know what, I might drop that in favor of that. It's an overhead striker. Oh man, he got smacked in the back of the head. I didn't feel good, huh man? Oh, man. Dude, this guy's getting eviscerated. Oh, wow. He parried my attack accidentally. Oop. Okay. Gotta be kind of careful. This guy might be really good at one-handed sword and deal a lot of damage on us unexpectedly. Backhand. Oh, lopped off his head. The crowd goes wild. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do it. Look at that. You get that bet pay. Oh, you bet correctly this time. Plus that 5,700. Okay, so one thing I didn't really mention was favor. So it looks like we're doing pretty good with everybody, but we want to watch Alora and Jordis potentially. Because just like the positive random events, you can get bad ones from being too low in favor from some of the factions here. Hosts, I guess. Okay, it's good. Oh, <laughs> we got this Valerius one again. He's forgetful. He always thinks that this is the first time we're meeting and he gives us a promotional campaign boost. So we'll take it. 10k in the bank. We can start thinking about more heavy hitting and higher quality items. Oh man, 23,000 fame. So we can do a few rerolls. Let's start getting some shoulder armor here. We still need the left arm shoulder armor, so we're gonna do a little bit of, there we go. There, now we're looking fully kitted. But boots, we need to start upgrading as well because look at our boots. So that's the left boot. We're gonna buy that as, oh, we can't. Getting a little overzealous here, okay. We're gonna chill. Um, I think I'm gonna get the... Cost improvement? Yeah. So the heels are gonna be at a 20% discount now. Which is gonna be good, because we can get that quick heal. We're full, and let's see what we got. Ooh, wow, level 18. I'm definitely gonna die on that one. And it looks like this is our best bet here. So as you can see guys, once you reach a certain point, and you're hitting your stride, your gear is good, you're, you start getting some good scholar upgrades, you start to coast a little bit, but that's also when you get the most complacent, so you kind of have to stay on your toes still, but we're doing really good. Let's just do this one. Looks like we're hitting our stride pretty well. I swear that helmet, dude. Is it supposed to look like that? I don't know. Okay, let's go in, dispatch this dude. Keep upgrading and soon we'll become a god of the arena and 
reach our victory condition, hopefully. Ooh. Oh, wow. Watch your head, dude. Oh, no, my teammate hit me. Oops. Suddenly dropped my shield. <laughs> Suddenly hit my teammate. Yeah, sometimes it can get kind of chaotic with teammates all trying to hit the dude. Oh, this guy's getting pummeled. Alright, he's turtling up a little more. Oh, he de shielded me. Oh, his helmet's gone. Oh, before he could turn around. Let's go. The crowd goes wild up once again. Let's go. We're going to keep it rolling here, guys. We're not going to spend too much time. We're hitting our stride. Okay. So we probably need to do an Alora match because we don't want a negative outcome from being too low in favor with her. 3k. Um, nothing really to do here. We're gonna keep training. Let's see. One-handed sword is 90 now. Stamina, probably want a little more. We might change this to shield. Nah, it's okay. Let's go. Let's keep going. Look at this. Another entourage. It's gonna be a six versus one. Three kills, throwing damage. I feel like taking a risk here. No, I don't. Not yet. Yeah, you guys might be like, man, you're doing it the easy way. But trust me, when you've had as many playthroughs as me and dis been disappointed as much as I have, you kind of just want to balance the risk fights, the high paying ones with the easy ones. I just know based on my gear, I'm not in the clear yet. And look at this guy. He looks like a friggin... I see that helmet. I know that is a godly level helmet. I think it's one of the best in the game. Another reason that I'm a little cautious still. When you have so many teammates, it's just so crazy. Oh god. His helmet's gone already. Okay. I'm gonna draw him out in the open just a little bit. And deliver some quick strikes to the foe head. Oh, shit. Okay. Nope. There, there we go. Oh, jeez. Die, dude. Oh, that was quick. Let's go. We rank up again. Free repairs or free match reroll? Oh, man. Well, we have a lot of fame, so probably not the reroll. What do we still need? We need the right grief. Oh, we need both. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Sell this thing. We still need the right grieve. There it is. Can we afford it? No, we can't, but we'll sell a little fame. Or a lot of fame. Let's just go ahead and sell 10,000 fame. We have so much extra. So at this point, I think what my focus is going to be is, first of all, upgrading continuously upgrading my gear we, we can start buying masterwork and godly gear soon right depending on the matches and payouts we get as well as just focusing on matches where I can get the most kills because remember our victory condition is 80 aspirants if we take a look at our stat screen I only have 20 total so I have a lot of kills to go this is gonna be a potentially long video split up into many uploads potentially but I kind of want to take a f start taking a fast track towards that kill count so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on just gear and getting a lot of kills and many versus many matches will help in that regard yeah there's a lot of many versus many matches wow look at that one versus eight 
no way, dude. I'm totally gonna die. So we have some bet money. Let's see what we can do with when within four minutes. Eh, I don't know. I'm gonna get two dismemberments though. As long as I can get an overhead slashing weapon. I just need to be the first on the field. Pick it up. Jeez. New shield for me. There. Alright. This guy doesn't even have a weapon yet. <laughs> Go over here, dude. Little fucker. <laughs> He's just running away. Oh, he has a pan. Little idiot. Look, his teammates are still scrambling to try to find a weapon. This is chaos. <clears throat> Everybody will have a weapon soon. Look, this guy's still looking for a weapon. He's confused. There's one right in front of you, bro. I'll just make quick work of you, I guess. I need to get a... I need to get a dismemberment, so I might as well be your head. Right? <laughs> He's glitching out a little, dude. Yeah, sometimes the game in early access doesn't know how to handle so much going on. And I want to focus this guy. Come on, dude. Stop running around. Oh, wow. Took my kill. Yeah, this is kind of chaotic. Fight me. I get his head. I think I did. I get this guy's head. Come at me, bro. I don't really care about hitting my teammates right now. It's chaos. They, they know what they signed up for. Okay, I think I got my dismemberments. I just not even need to focus on winning, you know? I think there's only one left. Yeah, there's only one left. Yeah, he has him in a corner here. Try to draw him out. It's a pretty good weapon, a falchion. It's a good overhead slashing weapon. But it's over, I think. Or very close to it. One of my teammates died. They keep getting in my way. Honestly. I'm just trying to overhead slash this dude. My teammates keep getting in my way. It's not my fault. Let's go. And I did, I dealt so much team damage. You guys will see in the the summary that I got. I'm gonna get penalized for that team damage. 190 fame. It's fine. Next to that 2400, 190 fame doesn't matter. It's 21 fame. Never mind. I was looking at total damage. Valerius were maxed out. We need to do more Jordis matches. Just based on... Oh, look at this. Oh, what? This is exactly what I need. I want more choices in the shop. That'll fulfill that last one, and that'll save me from having to spend the fame on it. So, awesome. Thanks, Jordis. Um, Leather Sphera. I think I'm gonna keep saving up. I'm just gonna keep training. Yeah, keep training stamina. I'm going to another match. We're gonna go in without a weapon, just because it's a spoils and it's two on one. Uh, nothing to really take advantage of here. Yeah, 
we're just gonna hope this guy isn't like just an insane god of the arena. Looks like we have a shield to take advantage of for now at least. He has a Bardish? Bardish? I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, it's like that long pole arm. Can potentially do a lot of damage if you're not careful. We have a decent shield that hopefully doesn't break. Oh wow, we got rid of his helmet real easily there. It's gonna be a quick match. Yep, it's over already. This is a spoils match, and I don't know if this Bardish is worth much. Well, I mean it's damaged, but it's a masterwork grade weapon. So we're gonna take it. Yeah, we're gonna take it, repair it, and hopefully sell it for a lot. In the same way we took it. Oh wow, five thousand. Yeah, f that, dude. We're taking the five k. What the heck? We're not gonna sell that. We're gonna put this addition there. We're gonna re-roll the shop. Hopefully, get a decent sword, bronze Taladaska. I mean. It'll work for now. Just at least until we can. See, look at that. Fully repaired Bardish in the shop's worth 14k. But if we go ahead and take advantage of that free repair, which I don't know where those are coming from, we can get that full repair out of it. Actually, we only needed the... Yeah, I saved a thousand. It's fine. It's free. Free is free. We're going to keep on going with the same thing. And since we have the extra gold, I think I'm just going to do that for when we need it. Is there any cheap ones? Heirloom. Yeah, so this will this one I probably should have done earlier, but basically um, ordinary items won't appear nearly as often. We'll get higher tier stuff showing up just so we can upgrade our gear faster. Spoils. Another spoils. You know what, we might, I will do this. We get Entourage, plus it's worth 3k, so hopefully there's a, a time bet here. And there's not, it's fine. We're just gonna go in. Oops, sorry about that. Alright guys, let's go. Take a little sip of coffee. All right, let's do this. This guy looks formidable, pretty armored. Hey, these guys are starting to look crazier, man. He's like fully decked out. Ow, 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 shit. Ow, can you go away? Helmet's gone already. Oh, dude. I'm saying, like. Did I hit my teammate? Hope not. Sorry, bro. Oh. That's what's up. Yeah, that was easy. Did get hit a couple times, but. We did buy some upgrades in anticipation for taking a little damage, so we should be okay. Oh wow, okay, that sucks. Look at this, it's worth 10k in the shop now. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We're gonna sell that. You know what, I think we can just do the, yeah, do the second heal, just cause it's not gonna affect us too much. I'm gonna keep going with the same upgrade, but I think we can make a pretty significant purchase here. So these godly weapons, I'm not a fan of too many of them, but looks like we can get a bronze Meridonian helm. We're looking, we're looking like a beast now, bro. We can get rid of this helmet. Sell it for a thousand.
all right guys i think that's a good place to end the video we just upgraded our helmet as you guys just saw um, we're winning matches left and right without too much difficulty um, and we're starting to really really hit our stride here um, we're starting to build up bigger and bigger piles of gold with each consecutive match and i think it's only going to get more crazy and more glorious as we go forward so appreciate you guys tuning in again this is capital regime and you just watched part three of we who are about to die yeah man uh we're gonna keep it going um i hope you guys are liking the content so far i'm reading all the comments apparently as a, a new youtuber i'll have more than enough time to filter through any and all comments you guys put down and any feedback that you guys have um in regards to anything in the video my please my play style the video quality uh, my commentating how i'm cutting the videos the video length whatever it may be put it down in the comments and i will take it into consideration and keep improving this content for you guys so anyway see you guys in the next one won't hold you up any longer peace